Well, Andre, congratulations on uh, Captain Springboks. Um, just your thoughts on, on the challenge ahead, uh, a team with a lot of new combinations, uh, quite a fasty Welsh team, uh, might be a provocation. Just talk us through your captain your first test. Oh yeah, well, firstly it's an unbelievable honour. It's something you, you dream of playing the Springboks, for captain the Springboks, and I think it goes through. So a lot of people say it's, uh, it's an unbelievable honour. I'm really excited for, the, for that challenge. And yeah, we got a we got a few new faces in the squad, but it's guys that's earned their spot playing brilliantly for their clubs all season. And it's a nice thing about how we do things here. We reward people for playing well, so it's going to be really exciting to see what they can do on, on the field tomorrow. But um, yeah, we got enough experience on the pitch to handle whatever comes our way. We know Wales are going to try and get on our faces and try and get on our skins. They've been pretty open about it and it was very clear in the first test match, but I mean, that's something we enjoy, so um, we, we all we all for that, they can come at us, we, we want to take a step back, um, and yeah, it's, it's a big one. So I have one, uh, actually there was a lot of, of things in the Welsh media about the 14, or all the new faces, is that um, some of a motivation for you guys to show them on Saturday, you know, yes, you listen, you are wrong, or you were wrong in thinking, to be or so-called I think, in, or, in honest truth, from my side, it's uh, it's 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 disrespecting uh, uh, the Springbok emblem. You know, if you we've got guys, 42 players in our squad, and they all like Andre said, they've, they've all earned their stripes. You know, they've been playing well yeah. for their clubs, and somewhere, somehow, as coaches, we're going to have to give them opportunities. Yeah. You know, and now we're in a good position. For example, we one nil up. Do you understand? So we're in a good position to give other guys also opportunities. And for me, we, we don't have a P team. Yeah. We've selected a strong team that is will be able to perform tomorrow. That we know that yeah, we've, we stand a chance to win the game. And the balance in it, that's the thing. We've got a good balance there. We've got guys that have been around, who've won the World Cup yeah. for us. We've got a guy like Yevin with 98 test matches. We've got Andre Pollard who's been around. You've got Jesse Phil who's been waiting for his opportunities. So it's very important for us as coaches to make sure when we give also other guys opportunities. But it must also be a good balance between the the, the, the youth and the experienced guys. Yeah, but actually, if actually you read all that and things in the media, is that like a motivation for you guys? I think the motivation it comes within ourselves. You know, we as a Springboks, we always, which, irrespective of which team we play against, we always set high standards for ourselves. And like I said last week again, you can't underestimate a team like Wales. And probably people, they thought I was just uh, making them feel good, you know. They've showed on the field. They've played until the 80th minute, and that's exactly what we expected. We said last week, they're not going to go away. They're very tough. And it was proven on the field. So we expect the same thing, you know. And... Uh, I'm also excited to see a couple of youngsters that are getting opportunity, like Andre mentioned earlier on. I'm also excited to see if they'll be able to, 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 to handle that pressure because of, once again, the world side, they're going to be physical, they're going to be in our face, but something that we're prepared for. Um, Andre, you, you've mentioned that the, the team is basically four players, and that's absolutely right. Um, but how, how many sort of sessions have you had to, to, to gel, and is that the biggest challenge is, is for all these four guys to to get the synergy right? Yeah, and um, last week, Monday, we already knew this was going to be a plan. So we trained together as a team last week, preparing the guys for last week's test match. So this has been our second week. Okay. So in the last two weeks, there's a lot more cohesion in the squad. Um, of course, there's going to be disconnection sometimes with yeah. guys coming from all over the world. But we prepared for that. Uh, we're going to be bold in the way we play. We're going to make mistakes, but we've got each other's backs. And we've got to trust each other's skill sets. There's guys with unbelievable skill sets. And we, myself, as game driver, just got to give those guys opportunity to express themselves within our plan, within the way we want to play. Um, but yeah, no, I feel that we are really, really good, well aligned, and uh, yeah. ready for it. And just give us an idea of your leadership. Um, obviously, you're the vice captain of the national side. What is your leadership style like? Um, and is this your first time you're leading the, the national, the the, the, the the national side? Or I know you've been with the junior side as well. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's my it's my first time officially. Definitely in the spring box, so that's very exciting. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, our leadership style has always been a group of guys together on the field, looking after certain pressure points within the game. Um, yes, the captain just got to run out in front and speak to the ref. Um, I think that's going to be a big, a big thing on, on Saturday. The way they challenged the ref last weekend, I think they're going to go for it again to put pressure on him. Because their backs are against the wall, they're playing in South Africa against the Springboks. So 
that will be an interesting challenge. But in terms of in our team and the way we want to go about our stuff, we've got Yerman looking after the line, our streamer looking after the scrums, myself and Warwick looking after the way we want to play on the field, all the kinds of things like that. So we got leaders in every department, um, and we'll. We'll together try and lead the team as best we can. It's certainly not a one-man job. I'm going to ask you, um, usually, and I don't mind, I want to be wrong here, the tradition from, from South African rugby is usually they have a captain in the pack, though. Now we have a, finally we have a five. We had a safety in John de Villiers, a five as, as a captain. I know all the Northern Hemisphere side, they're all, all their flyers are captains. Is that something, is it Mumus Vart? Is that in, in our important? And what is your view like as a, as a five around the field? Yeah, I know. So I think it's like to have a kind of fact. Just uh, the physical and uh, the presence part of it. But again, the guys that I've got with me, a guy like Yerman is 90, playing his 99th test match, he'll be up front and he'll be, he'll be leading the pack in that, in that way. So, honestly, not a lot's going to change. Uh, I'll still just play my game and, and try and manage the game as best as I can from Flav and just speak to the ref every now and then. Honestly, it's, uh, it's not a big change for us. We've, we've dealt with it in a certain way and we're just going to keep doing that. It's just a different person in control. What do you make of Dan Bigger? Fly out from the captain against you this weekend. Excuse me. What do you make of Dan Bigger? He fly out from the captain this weekend for Wales. Yeah, man, Biggs is a he's a great player. I mean, he's very experienced, and he's a fighter. He's, he's one of the tough, tougher fighters out there, and he, you could see it last weekend in the way he, he led his team. He also won't go away. He's, he's a he's an inspirational guy, I think, for them, and um, the way he plays and the way he motivates his side, it's it's it's, it's important to them. Um, so I guess it's up to us to get off to him. Um, get stuck into him as much as we can, um, but that's it. You can't do pretty much. That's what we can do. We can try and be as physical and, 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 and try and dominate him and them as much as we can. But other than that, we we'll focus on ourselves and just just take it play by play. When you hear terms like earlier B team and Dibali and disrespecting as captain this side, what do you make of that? Ah, I just I just shrug it off. To be honest, I don't think much of it because um, people are wrong. This guy's more experienced than played last week, man. But uh, I think in terms of class and talent, it's really not a big difference this week. So I don't, don't, don't look into that too much. Okay. What, what does the number 63 mean for you? Sorry, I've, I've been told the number 63 is very significant for you. Though. 64. Sorry, my apologies. Yeah, I've got it wrong. Number 64. Apparently, you are only one of 64 people in South Africa who are in this position at the moment. Yeah, I'm 64 through my captain. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not a lot of guys over the years. Um, if you look all the all the years that the Springboks have been around, so again, it's just an honour, man. It's it's a privilege. It's a very proud moment for myself and my family, and I'll and I'll try my best to lead the team the best I can. And Andre, I think the last time you played with Andre yesterday's and was that little episode at Twickenham. I might be wrong. <laughs> yeah. but, um, uh, just having him back in, in the team and and having that sort of a guy of freakish physical dimensions next yeah. to you. Um, is it good to have him back? Oh, it's great to have Andre back. It's, uh, I mean, he's played some unreal rugby the last last two years with, with, with Quinns, and uh, again, he's been rewarded for, for his form. And I think he's very hungry as well, because yeah. once you've been in this environment and, and you get left out, yeah. you really only then realise what you have and, uh, and what the opportunity you have. So having him back, I think he's going to be really sucked up for this one. And um, <laughs> let's just put it the way, we'll, we'll use him wisely. Yeah. Could you, can I ask, can I ask you, sorry, I'm trying to ask you though, um, I asked him about his position on the field though. <coughs> Being the captain and playing the full role though, isn't the added pressure him now to take leadership, make decisions and still fulfill his role though, that important role he has to fill in the field? Yeah, this is something maybe you don't you don't realise. If you look at the team in front, you've got Thomas Tutori who's the captain for the Sharks. You've got Eben who, who led the Springboks before. Then you've got Marcel Coutier who's the captain for the Bulls. You've got Andre Pollard, who's been part of our system for a long time, you know. So, and also it goes with the nature of the position. As a flyer, you're always one of the guys that are game drivers on the field. So I don't think it's going to be extra load on Andre. Like you just said, I think the only difference with him now is just to communicate with the match officials. Otherwise, he knows his role. He's a leader by, by, by nature in his position. So I don't think it's going to be an extra load on him. And once again, we trust the people around him also to assist him. Like you just mentioned, you know, in all departments, it's for people that are, even the youngsters that are starting, for example, the outside backs. Those boys, they've also got a role in the team where they can lead, uh, irrespective of the test matches they haven't played before, do you understand? So that is how we develop leaders in our team. So uh, we're not worried at all about that. That is going to be absolute. Um, if I can ask both of you, uh, 14 months ahead of World Cup, there's a lot of chat about World Cup involving up towards it. 
Um, how difficult is it to stay in the moment? Like you're building up a particular test, so how difficult is it to sort of focus on that? I think it's not a secret. Our, our, our goals, we've got top three goals in our systems, which is the first one is to win. When you wear a Springbok jersey, you know, you're not only uh, representing you just only your family, you're representing plus minus 58 million South Africans. So we know uh, wearing that jersey, it's a very, a very tough job. So once again, for us, the goal is always to win first. And then at the very same time, we also want to, 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 to transform the team, you know, and make sure that we keep getting better, you know, in all departments. And you, you, can't, you can't transform if you're not going to give other people opportunities, you understand? When you talk about transforming and developing the game, you also need different types of skill sets. If you look at the back three that we've got now, all three of them, they've got an X factor. They've got also uh, the fullbacks, do you understand? So we're trying now at least to give also well some different challenges, you know. So <sighs> for us, I think the main thing is to win first. That's it. And we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that tomorrow, after the 18th minutes, we'll be the team that's winning. Yeah, I mean, the World Cup is always always in the back of your mind as for, for any team and player but there's no point looking that far you get we've got a lot of hurdles in front of us and this this weekend is, is the first of them so it's in the back of our minds we've got stuff that we are working on towards towards the World Cup but for now we're just solely focused on winning this series. I'm going to ask you this question in Afrikaans as well but I'm going to ask you each first. Tevin Yakanya used this words and I'm still stuck to this words. He says he's playing this with the cheetahs that he referred to the Yota Stadium as a begraf plaats, as a as as a as a cemetery. Is that the right word? What's your what's your history of, of the Yota Stadium, and what's it like for visiting teams coming to this venue? Yeah, man, the graveyard. It's uh, it's tough. It's tough. Um, I remember playing my second Super Rugby game here. Yeah. Uh, we lost. It's just a tough place, and the people are passionate. And and whenever the cheetahs play in Bloemfontein, it's it's a different kettle of fish to when you play them at home anywhere else in the in the country. And I think. When the Springboks come here as well, it's, it's, it's a different different feeling and the people are so hungry for rugby, especially the supporters and getting the Springboks in town, it's, it's always an unbelievable special special atmosphere um, and we're going to definitely tap into that, um, trying to get that emotion and channel it in the right direction. Um, but yeah, Bloemfontein is a special place and we want to we wanna keep it that way, we want to keep it a tough place for, for other people to come here. You guys want to bury the well-wills Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Yeah, I was actually wondering what was the role of the um, seniors like um, seen like Fab and the um, Sia. Actually, in the build-up, you know, there's a lot of actually youngsters, you know, to um, give them advice on actually how we put it. Was the or actually what was? Um, yeah, no, that, the role? that was a big discussion in the week from. From the coach's side and, and, and the players really bought into it. It's from it's for the guys that played last weekend to give experience to the guys that are playing this week, playing maybe your first or second test match, giving them the experience already before the test match of what they felt, how they felt in that moment, and playing in front of a crowd again for the first time since since, since twenty nineteen. It's something you could see the first twenty minutes of the test match last week and we were a little bit on our back foot. It's just something we haven't experienced in so long. So we speak spoke about it a lot this week. Hopefully we don't make the same mistakes and don't get sort of shocked by the, the raw emotion and, and, and the whole vibe, but uh, there's been a lot of chat, like Chesland's been helping Kirtley quite a lot this week, you know, Fav has been with his crumb ups, we, we all try and help each other all the way, it's, 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 it's a great learning environment we have at the moment, it's competitive, don't get me wrong, it's very competitive, but, but we try and help each other as much as we can. Henry, you've, um, you've played in some exciting back lines before, but th this back three that you've got, uh, they're all three full backs, they've all three got amazing counter attacking abilities. How keen are you to give that ball some air to them? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's unreal to have weapons like that outside, but it's also a dangerous trap to, to fall in if you just want to just shift the ball around and just throw it around. This is test match rugby. We're playing against a very disciplined side, a team that's got great tactical tactical game. So. We'll have to put in the hard yards first. Um, it's not going to be this big spectacle from minute one. If it eventually opens up and we can create some more space for those guys and give them a little bit of space for the one-on-one, -on -one, that'll be ideal. That's our job. Um, but for first, we're going we're gonna to take it the normal route and we're going to try and get as physical as we can. Andrei, the court looks on the first question. Number 64, this is a great for you for your job to take this time. Yeah, it's a great for you. Uh, it's a great 
voor ek vir my en vir my, vir my familie baie trots. Uh, nou, dat gaan, gaan een machine hele dag wees vir my en my familie, maar op baie goeie manier. Uh, sien baie uit vir die geleentheid. Bij my ouders kan nie wees maar vir die wedstrijd, so uh, ek sien rechtig baie uit. Af en toe af en toe vir gepraat van, ek had baie gepraat die afgelopen week in die aanloop tot hierdie wedstrijd oor die span wat, wat Jaak nie nou wat met elkaar gestel, wat, wat jy gaan aanvoer. Denk jy die kritiek is rechtverdig? Hoe voel jy is kapteen al? Um, ja, ek denk gaat nie is rechtverdig nie en eerlijk die wees is vir eigenlijk nie aangesteer nie. Het is mensens opinie, en hulle is geldig op hulle opinie, maar dit slaat nie ons het sien nie. As een groep sien ons 43 spelers wat allemaal ongelooflijk talentvol is en, en allemaal moet alle deel doen, iwers dier die jaar, so hierdie, hierdie, hierdie naweek is hierdie ander oudse geleentheid om uit te gaan en te wees wat hulle kan doen. En ek denk net, dit is ongelooflijk op, op, opgewonde, op, dit is groot opgewondenheid in die groep om te sien wat die, wat die nieuwe mannen kan doen en uh, ja, ek kan nie wacht nie. Ja, hy was ek sien man in Afrikaans, Als het sê my, als het weet als het hele jes is oorhandig en wat is als het die, ek moet sê message op die boodskap, en die aardse handelig om jes. Ja, ons maak nie, ek toch groot lang van, try oorhandigings nie, het is altyd, het is baie speciale ongeluk, om die try te ontvang, maar, ons praat oor wat kan moendlik gebeur, in die, in die wedstrijd wat kan ons dat om kant vang, so ons praat oor sikkel goed en, vir ons is die groot boodskap om persoonlijk te maak. Maar als het weet jy dit oorhandig? Nee, die man, koud jy skeel, die afrechters geef vir spesifieke afrechters geef maar trui ook vir spelers vir wie hulle in beheer is van dier die werk en hulle, hulle pressure points en, en dis dit en ons vermoog trui te ontvang is, is groot genoeg eer, hier kort nie iemand om een groot hoewaar te maak ervan hier André, um, excuse me, hoef my te kijk, dat is jou antwoord nie. Um, ek wou net gehoor, jy, weet, jy het nou gepraat van, jy weet hoe, hoe jylle leiderskap groep, jy weet maar seker pressure points hanteer en dinge, en daar was baie mentorskap, jy weet ook een bykie, jy weet betrokken net om, jy weet die nervous energy wil ek amper sê, bykie net, jy weet uit die weg uit te skryf, want nou is immers, jy weet, ses debitante, jy weet wat hier die um, naweg speel. Ek wou net gehoor, het, hoe belangrijk, denk jy was dit, jy nou, gegewe dat jy nou ook kon sien hoe die span baie was hier die afgelopen twee weke, hoe belangrijk was dit vir die jonge ouwens om, ek wil amper sê die sekuriteit te hee, weet dat hierdie is die plan, jy weet al van verlede week af, weet jylle gaan waarschijnlijk volgende week speel, om net die, wil amper sê net die nervous energy, jy weet eindelijk te kalmeer, hoe, hoe belangrijk was die beplanning al van, jy weet, een paar weke terug in die opzicht? Het is, is ongelooflijk belangrijk, um, om vir die ouwens een extra week te gee, soos jy sê, dat het kan insink, en besef, ok, volgende week is my tyd, ek gaan volgende week op ook raak, um, dit is iets wat jy moet oorkom, en hy het gelukkig twee weke gehad vir dit, en, om eerlijk te wees, die ouwens lyk baie kalm, ek is seker, morgen sal al baie, baie spanning wees, en, en opgewondenheid, maar, maar dit is net om wat het belangrijk is vir hulle, en dit is so dit woord, ons allemaal voel het nog steeds, Eben voel het nog steeds, op 99 games, ek voel het nog steeds, dus om het ons omgee, so, Nee, die manne, ek dink hulle is, hulle is emotioneel recht verseker, vir al die debutante, en hulle weet ons wat hulle bek, geen om wat hulle maak nie, ons allemaal gaan fouten maak, ek gaan fouten maak, hulle gaan fouten maak, dis net hoe ons het recht maak, en, en ons aan een fout. Ons praat van Fort Loftus, ons praat van Fort Ellis Park, Fort um, Kapstad Stadium, wat maak jy van um, die Toyota Stadium, en jou, jou geskiedenis op die stil van? Ja, <laughs> nee, is, is al gelukkig stadion, die mense, is, 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 is helemaal een waai, het begin aan een plek, kry nie, die toeskouwers, soos elke plek in Zuid-Afrika, speciaal op sy eie manier. Um, ek het uit die herinneringe hier, denk aan hy, hy was bies onderste toets gewees, toe is hy 18 bies, so toe is in Engeland ook teruggekom het, waar ons so stadig in die blok uit was, wat een erge special dag was, en is iets van toe ons nog ons gedeel terugkyk, en, en ons weet, hy is genoeg ondersteuning, en, 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 en daai, om daai in jou memory te hee, is altyd iets verkruid om op die veld mee te gaan, jy het als gaan elke volgens plan gaan nie, maar om te weet, jy, jy was al die en jy het al gedoen op die stadion, is, is, is belangrijk. Kan een begraf plaas Ja, die, die begraf plaas. Ja, net van my kant wil ek net vraag, dat as jy so kyk na die span wat nou gekies is, en ons is nou in die reeks, sal het nie beter gewees het om die reeks toe te maak, en dan op jou derde toets, dan die span wat nou vir uh, morgen gekies is, en eerder een volgende zaterdag in die kaf te laat speel. Um, ek verstaan wat persoon, het voorkom partij mense soos al dink. Ek dink in teendeel, het is gereid dat ons het so doen, so wat ons het doen, want daar is nog druk om op te wen. As jy nou hierdie wedstrijd gespeel het met die selfde span, jy weet nog, ons spreek na die derde toets, ja, allemaal krijg ek een tijd, maar ach, as mense werd, so kan jy weet, Hier is druk op die toets, ons moet gaan en ons moet gaan wen. 
en, en ek denk is belangrik om as nieuwe spelers in sikke situasies te sit en ek denk dat is waar as eentje ook altyd so skerp is, jy weet, ja hulle gaan fouten maak en hulle, hulle blekje ons, maar om, 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 om dan soveel druk te speel, gaan jy net voorbereid voor en toe vir groter wedstrijde en, en groter geleentede. So jy, jy kan so dink, maar ek denk nie dat ons, ek denk ons doen in die rechte manier. Maar dit is nou ask jy laatst gesê, laatst week after the, after the match in Pretoria, in Pretoria, Dan Bigo was very clear, he said, despite their discipline, despite losing narrowly, they're not here on a safari, they're going to be in your faces, as they're not expecting to, to, to get a red carpet trip on you, but at the same time, they're going to give it to you guys, come the second test match of Brooklyn. I understand it completely, I mean, if they're just going to come here and just quietly go about their business and just let us have our way, it's not going to go their way, so... I understand it completely, them trying to get under our skins, getting us off our task. But again, we South Africans, we enjoy that. Um, that brings the best out of us. Having our backs against the wall or somebody trying to get under our skin. I understand why they're doing it, and we'll be up for it, but there's no way we're taking a step back. Stop, um, just maybe in, in the lead up, maybe you can give us a bit of insight on how, how much debate there was in the management team maybe not this week, but when you guys were doing your planning, mm. on, on this plan to play these youngsters as such, was it, was there a bit of a debate on it, or was it... Yeah, Brendan, there's always a, a tough debate in the boardroom, you know. If we're going to have an easy win, then I don't think we, we're in the right place, you know. So to the decisions that we made, you know, uh, we don't take them for granted, you know. So it was tough, yes, and then I had the question earlier on if would it not be best for us to win 2-0 and then we rotate? That was not our original plan. Our original plan was always to give the first two, the first two games, we give everyone an opportunity so that if we go to the last game, then we can select our best possible team and that will probably build up towards the All Blacks game in the championship. So it was part of our, our original plan and it, we, did, we just make sure that we stick to it. And there's always debate about players because of once again, like, and I said, a lot of the players that are playing this week are the players in the URC that were on form. You see a guy like Andre Seize in, 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 in England, he's been playing proper rugby, you know. And Andre Pollard, three weeks back, he played the final. You know, a lot of guys that are in that back line. There's one thing, that, that's a funny thing about people. It depend, they talk about our team, as a, it's a big team. Some of those lighties, they played in the URC finals. Some of those lighties, they played in the semifinals. You know, so I don't want to go to the world side and say they had none in the playoffs, do you understand? And then all of a sudden, you can judge and say these guys are beat team. These are proper players that have earned their stripes and that deserve also their opportunity. So once again, if they want to say it's a beat team, they must come and speak after the game, then the results should speak to that. Bye, <laughs> Rangi Pesi. Thanks. Is that it, guys? Yeah, nice and early. I like this. Yeah, I like this. Thank you, guys. I was going to ask you to answer the question.